is really cool. So you click setup and it will typically show you your iPhone software update screen. That's pretty cool. It's not too often that you get to see this on an iPhone that you didn't update. So what's up everyone, this is Autogus Tech and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can access a hidden menu in iOS 14. Now this is like a really cool diagnostics menu on the iPhone, but there are some other really cool features and even a prank you can pull on a friend if you want that can completely lock up their iPhone and there's so much more you can do with this hidden menu in iOS 14. So this is really cool and I think you guys will enjoy it if you enjoy accessing hidden features on the iPhone. Now, there is something I want to mention to you guys. Uh, on the YouTube channel, I now am offering merch for the Apple community. Uh, it's not very common you see this, so I figured I would take advantage of this, and I think you guys would really enjoy this. You can access it through the community tab. You can tap on store, but on top of that, just click the link down below in the description, and you can go ahead and access the merch. So if you guys are actually curious to see what's on the actual website, well, you can see there's a shirt that says single, taken, and it says jailbroken. Everything has a hoodie or a t-shirt format. You can just see there's a jailbroken shirt and hoodie, and they are all very reasonably priced. So you can see the shirt's like $19, hoodie's $25, and of course, here's my favorite one that I made. Well, I made all these, but this is my favorite one. It says escaping sandbox. This looks really cool. You see this pretty much every time you run a jailbreak on your phone. I think these would be really cool things the Apple community would love, and I'm going to be making more. Now, as of now, these are on limited time, basically, so that way you can get them now, and they will ship to you sooner, whereas if you wait three days, it'll take a lot longer to ship to you. So I really do think you guys will enjoy this. Um, let me know if the prices are too high. I could... See if I could try to offer a discount code, but I, I'm not really running at too much of a profit here. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. Link is below. All right, I'll stop rambling. Let's get to the cool feature on iOS 14. All right. Basically, it's a really cool Siri shortcut that offers so many hidden features on the iPhone. Now, these are things that you would typically see on like an iPhone that's running test software, and you're able to get access through iOS 14. So this is actually a Siri shortcut you want to download. I'll have a link down below in the description for that. But once you have it installed, go ahead and just tap on it on your home screen. You're going to want to do it on your home screen for the really cool effect. And the way you obviously can open a shortcut from the home screen is you could just add it to your widget page like normal in iOS 14. But I'm not sure if this works on iOS 13. So I will leave a pinned comment down below letting you guys know the status of this really cool menu for iOS 13. So basically, this is the way the menu looks on iOS 14. And you can access really cool apps that, hap that Apple typically has like locked off. So something that's really cool is the one called Field Test. Typically, you have to enter in like star and you type in a few numbers i think it's like one two three four and you press pound and you can access the field test on an iphone well this is just a click of a button it is so much easier to access now what's also really cool about this is typically if you were to have service right here you would no longer have the service bars you would have a negative number that says how good or bad the service is depending on how close the bar is to zero so if it says negative zero you got good service. If it says anything higher than 100, that means you're not really doing too well with service. So this is just a cool diagnostic shortcut. There are so many other cool ways that you can use this though. For example, you can tap on demo app. Now I think because it's iOS 14, it won't work, but you can access, I believe what it's called, the, uh, what was it? Setup, right here. It doesn't work on this device, but I will pull it up on my iPhone uh, 11, and you can see it should work. Check this out. This is really cool. So you click Setup, and it will typically show you your iPhone software update screen. That's pretty cool. It's not too often that you get to see this on an iPhone that you didn't update. So this is accessing, a, I guess, a hidden menu on your iPhone that typically you can only access if you do a certain command on your iPhone. Now, it's really cool is typically you could just exit out of it. Typically, you can't do that. That is so cool. Like, I don't know. I find that super interesting. So you can just go ahead and exit this whole software screen and you can test out whatever else they've got. Now, there is one that can mess up a friend's device. 
I will get to that later. But you can see Diagnostics is another menu that you typically can't access on the iPhone. As you can see, it's a weird app on your phone. And before we get started, I just want to give a huge shout out to the developers who created this. Now in order to get this shortcut, you're going to want to open up Safari and click the link down below. Now the link will be below my merch link. I know, I now technically can say I have merch, but you guys should really check out the merch, but also check out the shortcut that I'm going to show you about because that's how you install the cool hidden menu on your iPhone. So what you want to do is visit this page and you want to install Apple Finder. This is the shortcut that's going to enable you to access these cool features. You're going to want to scroll down and then just tap on Add Untrusted Shortcut. Now, if you've never installed a Siri shortcut on your phone, it might not work. So you're going to want to open up Settings, scroll down, and you're going to want to go ahead and tap on Shortcuts, and you're going to want to allow untrusted shortcuts. Now, if this is grayed out, all you need to do is just go back to your shortcuts, install any of these shortcuts, and open them and run them on your phone. So for example, I downloaded this one, I ran it, and then that's literally it. And then this was no longer gray. So that is the fix to that problem. So now that we've done all that, you can go ahead and open it up from your home screen if you're on iOS 14. So that's another cool thing you can see, but something else is called pre-board. You can actually mess up someone's iPhone like this. So what it does is it's another upgrade screen, but there's a glitch in iOS 14 where you have to enter a passcode. Now you may have noticed that on this device, there was no passcode. But on top of this right now, there's no keyboard. So you're just stuck in this and you can't double click out of it. You turn your phone off and on and it's stuck like this. So if you were to install this shortcut on a friend's phone, you could probably, you know, really scare them. Now the only fix to this would be to let your device sit and wait. So we're going to let that device sit and wait. But there's actually something worse that happens on the iPhone 12. I don't want to do it on this one because it's just super annoying. But long story short, if you were to do the pre-board one, it would lock the iPhone and you're stuck on like a similar screen and you can't do anything. But it takes even longer than this device. So I'm going to come back to this one later. But another really cool feature is you can access Spotlight Search as an application. So typically the way you can access Spotlight Search is like this. You can go ahead and scroll over like so, and you can use the app library. But the other way is by using this really cool shortcut. And I've never seen this before. You just tap on Spotlight and it activates it. I think that's pretty cool. And it also is this black background. So whatever wallpaper you have, this background will be black. I think that's pretty cool. Now, I did come across a glitch when using this. It was a little glitchy. And uh, the other issue was I tried to use Spotlight Search. And Spotlight Search is a little messed up on this device. So yeah, I think that's just because I was 14. But if you restart your iPhone, it goes back to normal. And we're going to check up on this iPhone, the one that you probably would have pranked your friend with. And, well, yeah, you can see exactly what's going on. So you still have to enter your passcode. This could really get your friend to worry about what's going on. Now, obviously, if you were to reset your iDevice like so, you can see it restarts. Now, my iPhone typically has a weird animation. All right, well, it's working just now. But very cool shortcut. So also, real quick, guys, uh, I have an iOS 13 device right here. And I'm going to be showing you what actually happens when you run this shortcut. I know I mentioned I'd leave a pinned comment, but I found the time to actually show it off in the video. So you can see that these are the options. You have to open them up in this version of shortcuts, obviously. And what you can do is just go ahead and tap on any of these. And they basically just do the same thing. Unfortunately, the same ones that are glitchy in iOS 14 are also glitchy in 13 as well. But you can see that Spotlight Search has a bit of a different appear in the sense that you can double click out of it. And you can typically you can go back into it. But it's overall basically the same thing I showed off from iOS 14. So that's really about it. Things that were glitchy before are still glitchy in this version. So yes, I will continue with the outro by my merch. Long story short, these are hidden menus that you cannot access without this shortcut or probably the use of a computer and some sort of diagnostics tool. 
unless you actually had an iPhone from the Apple Store. Typically, those are running test software. So, pretty cool video overall. And you can see, this is what the menu looks like. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I truly appreciate it. Check out the merch. And as always, peace.